You've been in Cambodia now for 13 years. What kinds of ministries and things are you involved in? So I've been in Cambodia now, well, over 12 and a half years, and I'm involved in a lot of different ministries. I'm considered the country moderator, so I do work with the government. But a lot of what I spend my time doing is discipling pastors, working with pastors, helping them form their own leadership so that they'll in the future be able to stand on their own and do their own things. But through that, too, I also am involved in ministries where church planters and helping to fund them. I work with a couple schools where we have 1,600 kids in grade school, about 750 kids in junior high, and a bunch of kids in preschool. I also started and oversee now and an advisor for the National Youth Department in the country. I work with Teen Challenge, just a wide variety of things. When the doors open again for the gospel to, to come back into Cambodia, you had mentioned that there was only about 25 to maybe 500 Christians alive in the country. Yeah. So tell us what exciting things have been happening with the gospel in the church since that time. Yeah, Cambodia never did have a lot of Christians, but after all the war and the genocide, there were only maybe 200 to 500 Christians alive in 1990. But the doors opened then um, through humanitarian aid and different things, and the AG went in. And partly what they started doing with these schools, orphanages, is leading individuals to Christ, discipling them, helping them go to Bible school. And then those guys started planting churches. Well, then those churches got stronger, and they had a passion to go to the next village. Because lots of them are in places where they're rice farmers. And so when it's not harvest time, planting time, they have free time. And so they would go to the neighboring village and start a Bible study. That would grow, and eventually that would become a church. Then in that place, they wanted to go to the next village. Maybe they knew somebody or a relative, and they went to the next village, and it grew. And it's just kind of spreading. And so now, from 200 to 500 Christians alive, 20 years later, the government estimates there's about 150,000 to 200 thousand Christians. And of course, it's not just AG, lots of different groups, but the AG has grown from zero Christians, zero churches, to probably five or six thousand committed Christians in about 150 churches now. And it's starting to grow more exponentially. You've asked for a bunch of motorcycles that Speed the Light would provide for you. Um, who are these mo motorcycles for and well, how will they be used? So what's happening is churches are growing and they have a vision to plant other churches. And when they started out, they could ride their bicycle because it was the neighboring village. But as time's gone on, they're getting to further and further and further away. And often one pastor has to pastor three or four different places as they're doing these church pastor um, plants because they don't have enough pastors yet. And so a bicycle used to work, but now they need motorcycles to get further and further away. And so these Motorcycles will be given to mother churches, not to an individual, but a mother church, which is responsible for other church plants. And so we have five mother churches down in Tagal, where there's half of our churches in the country. And so there's well over 100 churches now. So those five churches will each have two. So that different ones that go out to different places will be able to ride the motorcycle, go out where they're planning a church, come back to the mother church, and then maybe the next day somebody else will be able to take it. And so that's part of it. Then we have some that are going to new areas where they have no transportation. And so one of the kids from our orphanage that recently got married, he's going out to a place about 40 miles outside of Phnom Penh. And so he'll have one. We have another kid who came out of the orphanage and a girl that got saved up in another place. They just got married and have moved to a new place near Vietnam. And they don't have any transportation. So it'll be transportation for them to get to and from Phnom Penh, but also around in the town where they're planting the church. And so it's going to go to mother churches and or to people that are in new areas where we don't have any churches yet. So I just want to say I'm so thankful that young people, youth pastors, youth leaders are willing to help people that are halfway around the world because these motorcycles are going to help them to do something they couldn't do without them that are going to make their lives easier, not only to go to one place, but to several places. And I, so I just want to say thank you so much for investing and in helping to expand the kingdom of God, taking the word of God and planting it in places that have never heard before, where they could never have gotten without these motorcycles.